It is May of 1938, and this is just a brief overview of our financials. We have a cash balance of $8,627,164,784. Our interest income is approximately about $243,192. We don't have a line of credit, have paid off our bank loans. We have approximately three different bonds that we actually have. Our pension funds, we have $3,171,233,813. We have no unfunded pensions and our monthly payout is about $3.7 million. You can just see our total liability. And as far as our marquees, Dove, $13.7 million in total revenues. EE Sport is at $3.5 million in revenues. Emerson Allure is at $42.8 million in revenues. Emerson Electric is at $13 million in revenues. Emerson Grande is at $16.5. Emerson Motors is at $78.7 million in revenues. Emerson Performance is at $19.7 million in revenues. ETD Emerson Truck is at 13.8. The new company Granville, which is going to be taking over the production for the Emerson Electric, their first product is going to be starting in 1939. Titan Truck is at 56.5 million in revenue. We're still operating primarily in the, the United States. As far as the company directory for 1937, BMW Motorsports has a tentative sale of about 139,175 vehicles sold of 1937. Bugatti has just recently open our major competitors are century core detroit automobile company our closest competitor as far as sales is stanley our transitional updates for the redesign of our etd truck and titan truck brand so the first truck that we ended up redesigning was our our Avon which is our base model Titan truck, and it replaced the outgoing 500T. And it comes in a couple of different trims. It comes in a standard C trim and a CS trim. There's a two-wheel drive variant and a four-wheel drive variant. A total of four different variants, C, CS, C4, CS4. This truck comes with a standard of 79 horse and 101 foot-pounds of torque from a supercharged V6 motor. 26.2 miles per gallon combined for the C variant and 26.1 miles per gallon combined for the four-wheel drive variant. And then when you step up to the Arvon SC, for the 1939 model year, you step up to a more powerful version of the 2.7 V6, 81 horsepower and 103 foot-pounds of torque, and a top speed of 79 miles per hour. That's from a 2.7 turbocharged V6 Titan made it to the same 3A 178W5 Titan 3-speed transmission and that'll give you a tentative fuel economy rating for the two-wheel drive version that's the SC for 27.3 miles per gallon combined and then if you step up to the SC4 that gives you a total fuel economy of 27.3 two next up from there will be our summit line this is our full size truck our summit has replaced our 1000t 
and our 2000T variants. So each of the trims are a Summit C, a Summit C4. With the Summit C and Summit C4, that gives you a total of 103 horsepower and 141 foot-pounds of torque and a top speed of 78 miles per hour. From a 3.6 naturally aspirated Titan V8 made it to the 3A178W5, a Titan transmission and that motor comes standard in both the C and the all-wheel drive C4 variant. Fuel economy for those is 23 miles per gallon for the C and 22.9 miles per gallon combined for the C4. And the LC4 comes with the same the standard 103 horsepower motor and 141 foot-pounds of torque and the fuel economy is 22.9 and the top speed is 78 SC4 and that's still from the same 3.6 V8 slightly tweaked to provide 119 horsepower and 148 foot-pounds of torque with a combined fuel economy of 24.3 miles per gallon and a top speed of 81 miles per hour. And that is still routed through the 3A178 Titan gearbox. There is a diesel variant and that produces 92 horsepower and 227 foot-pounds of torque from a Titan 3.0 supercharged straight six motor. Diesel fuel is of course required and that's made it to the same 3A178W5 automatic transmission. Now that pulls a fuel economy rating of 36.2 miles per gallon combined in a top speed of 75 miles per hour. So new for the 1939 model year is the ETD Hog Back. This vehicle comes standard with the 119 horsepower, 148 foot-pound of torque, Titan 3.6 naturally aspirated V8, made it to the Titan 3A178W5 transmission and that has a top speed of 81 miles per hour and a fuel economy of 24.6 miles per gallon combined. And then you can step up to the all-wheel drive variant which is the Hogback Trail. Now that comes standard with the same motor in 24.5 miles per gallon combined and 81 miles per hour top speed. And then if you're looking for that truck with that added luxury touch, then you can step up to the Hogback Trail X. Now it comes with the same standard 119 horsepower motor, 24.7 miles per gallon combined. So this variant gives you more lightweight materials to further improve the fuel economy and a more luxurious interior. 